Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today two Belmont High School students, Arsha Hawk and Nina Tadrius. They're both leaders of the Belmont High School UNICEF Club. Arsha is the PR officer. Nina is the co-president. Arsha, Nina, you have a big event coming up uh, here in the next week. Can you tell us what it is? Um, I guess I can take this one. So on Friday night from seven to nine, the UNICEF club is hosting a virtual family fun night. And Friday night is uh, the 16th, Friday, April 16th. Yep. Um, Okay, let's, uh, uh, Nina, let's come over to you. When you say a family fun night, uh, what, what do you mean by that? So I kind of like to think of it as sort of a carnival with different booth activities. Two years ago, we were able to successfully do one in person and the members each thought of different booth activities like puzzles, cupcake decorating, and then people would pay to enter and they could wander around and go to all these different booths and activities. And this year, of course, we're unable to hold it in person, but we're doing it virtually. And so like in, I think it was 2019, all the members thought of their own booths and designed activities around them. Let's talk about uh, some of the booths that you're going to have uh, this year, because it will be virtual this year. You're going to have games. What uh, can you explain? Uh, what, what types of games you might have? Um, should I take this one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so some of the games we'll have are Kahoot, which is more of a trivia-based game um, with kind of fun, different random questions, and there are winners and um, fun music. And then we'll also have puzzles and... Um, just a lot of the members have found a lot of fun online games. I think there's one called Scriblio, which is like online Pictionary. Yeah. And one of one of the booths you're having is on crafts. Uh, can you explain how, how do you do a craft booth uh, online? So we have. Oh, sorry. You can yeah. go for it. We have um, two booths actually dedicated for like crafting things. So we have a drawing booth, and then we have a separate origami booth. And the origami booth is basically going to be a guided presentation with our club members actually leading you or leading the participants through it. And whenever they need help, they'll pause, show, redo a step. And it'll have, I think they have a video running in the background as well. And then the drawing booth, they're gonna live stream basically all what's going on on a piece of paper. And also the um, club members who are gonna be leading it, they'll be on camera talking uh, talking participants through it as well. And if I can stay with you for a minute, uh, are these activities for for all ages or are they uh, directed toward a particular age? These activities are not targeted toward any like particular age. It's supposed to be family friendly. So all family members are able to join and able to participate. And um, most activities should actually be enjoyable for most age ranges. So it's not like younger family members can't participate. They should be all, all age friendly. Now we're, we're talking about a family fun night, but there really is a serious purpose behind this. The purpose of uh, uh, this evening is uh, this evening that you're going to have uh, is to raise money for UNICEF. Can can you tell us uh, about that? Yeah, I can take this one too. So um, UNICEF has three primary, like primary pillars and it's fundraising, advocacy and education. So we're trying to go for fundraising and advocacy through this fundraiser in particular. So obviously there'll be like a little donation that people will make upon entering the fundraiser. And there'll also be um, a, like a whole booth dedicated basically to talking about UNICEF and what UNICEF does worldwide and its actions and how they benefit children all over the world. And essentially we're trying to mix the two. Um, I know during COVID-19 that a lot of families haven't been able to do go to like normal fun activities as they had before. So this is kind of 
our way of saying, here's something you could do and enjoy with your family, but also let's tie in an educational and informal or informational aspect to it um, and how it can affect and how a small action like a donation of $5 can affect a lot of different people all around the world. And Nina, if I can come back to, uh, to you, UNICEF really has uh, taken on a particular importance uh, during the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, isn't that correct? Yeah, definitely. I think even in past years, UNICEF has always been a key component in immunizing children all over the world. And especially now they're really working towards getting vaccines out to um, areas that have less resources and helping them get masks and hand sanitizer and stuff like that. From uh, uh, from either of you, can, can you tell us about the, uh, the Belmont High UNICEF Club? Uh, what what attracted you to it? Um, for me personally, I remember we always have activities and activities fair at the beginning of every year. And I just remember that booth stood out to me so much because they totally decked it out with the UNICEF blue, like flags, balloons, stickers, everything. So I was really drawn to it. And it's just, in my opinion, when I first joined just as a member my sophomore year, it was just very organized. Everyone there was so enthusiastic. And so I just stuck with it because I really liked that. Arcia, what, uh, what uh, drew you to the club? Yeah, so I'm a junior. I joined um, a year after Nina, I think, or maybe the same year because I joined my freshman year. But as she said, like the booth itself at the activities there, it really had like a presence, I guess. Um, and all the UNICEF blue, like it's very, um, I know a lot of school clubs, we run them ourselves. So to me, I was really impressed by how organized it was and how so many people were in it and they all contributed to one cause. And it was also really fun. Like we would have, I remember like while we were actually in school, um, the meetings would be a lot of fun. Uh, the officers, we would like facilitate snacks and stuff too. So it was more like a social gathering of sorts that was for a better cause than just like a school class, if that makes any sense. One thing that I'll wager folks in the community wonder, and I'll, I'll wager you get this question a lot too, is most people associate UNICEF with Halloween, with uh, trick-or-treating for UNICEF. Uh, can you talk about UNICEF being a, a year round activity? Yeah, it's definitely um, so much more than Halloween because we're an official registered club with UNICEF USA. At the beginning of the year, they send us this pamphlet and they have stuff, suggestions for us basically of what we can do all year. And they'll have like celebrate National Children's Day in the spring and all stuff like that. Um, and we, we do do the Halloween fundraiser because it is a big one, but like now we're also trying to do stuff throughout the year because it's important to be raising money for as long as we can. Yeah, if I think that um, another important thing that we do is during our meetings, not only do we like fundraise with our members, we also like talk about stuff like current events. We make an effort to put like um, particular time into that. And we also, um, we're trying... Family Fun Night is a more recent thing. Like we did it for the first time in 2019, like Nina mentioned, but we're trying to keep it up because it's a fun way to keep the club engaged during like throughout winter and into spring. And then we kind of break off as the testing season starts for obvious reasons. If folks want to participate in the uh, Belmont High UNICEF Family Fun Night, uh, what do they do? Um, it really depends on which booth they're interested in and the way it's set up. Um, it's a Zoom meeting and then there are different breakout rooms that people can jump to so they don't have to stick with one activity. So it really depends on the activity they're going to. Like one is a um, movie watching. So they'll go and just sit there with their family and um, watch little shorts that members have picked out. But then there's other booths like the science booth in which they'll actually be um, making, I think, homemade lava lamps. So it really and, and they'll go register someplace and get a Zoom invite. Yes. That's great. Uh, well, thanks for uh, joining us today. We've been uh, talking with Arshia Hawk and Nina Tadrius, 
who are leaders of the Belmont High School UNICEF Club. They have a family uh, fun night fundraiser coming up on Friday night, the 16th. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.